everybody. I'd like to let everyone know I'm going to start this uh, new series on cannabis. And it's going to go over alphabetically the different illnesses and diseases that cannabis and CBD may be beneficial for. Now the first one I'm going over is ALS. Now first we'll go over an overview of what ALS is. ALS is a rapidly progressive neurodegenerative disease that eventually results in the death of neurons that control voluntary muscles. Studies have shown marijuana effectively slows the progression of the diseases and helps patients manage the disease's associated symptoms. So an overview of ALS. ALS, most commonly referred to as ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, after the famous baseball player is a rapidly progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects the nerve cells in the brain, spinal cord, motor cortex that are responsible for controlling voluntary muscles. The disease prevents the brain's neurons from getting nourishment and thus eventually causes their demise. In turn, the brain is unable to initiate and control muscles and voluntary movement is lost. Those who suffer from ALS can lose the capability to move eat, speak, and even breathe. The cause of ALS continues to be unknown. There are two types of diseases, sporiatic and familiar. According to the ALS Association, sporiatic ALS accounts for 90 to 95 percent of ALS cases in the United States. Familia ALS, which is when the disease is inherited, account for only 5 to 10 percent of all cases in the U.S. The ALS Association reports that ALS most commonly affects people between the ages of 40 and 70. And the disease is 20% more common in men than women. There is no cure for ALS, and according to the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke, most who develop the disease die from respiratory failure within 3 to 5 years from the onset of the symptoms. Because there is no cure, the treatment for those with ALS is to slow the damage to motor neurons with the help of medications like Rizol and Rizol. However, this does not reverse the neuron damage already done and prolongs survival for only several months. Physicians will also commonly prescribe medications to help combat fatigue, ease muscle cramps, minimize muscle spasms, and reduce ex excess saliva and phlegm. In addition, physicians will prescribe medications to help with depression, sleep problems, pain, and constipation. Okay, so now we get into the good part. The finding of effects of cannabis on ALS. Cannabis has long been determined to be beneficial in slowing ALS progression and offering relief from its associated symptoms. Preclinical studies indicate that cannabinoids found in cannabis, including psychoactive THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, have antioxidative, anti-inflammatory, and neuroprotective effects. Neuro Numerous animal trials have demonstrated that the administration of cannabinoids and cannabis can delay the onset of ALS, prolong the survival of neurons, and slow the disease progression. Cannabidiol, CBD, another cannabinoid found in cannabis, but one that doesn't have psychoactive effects, has also been found to significantly slow the onset of ALS. Cannabis can also help ALS patients manage the pain, appetite loss, depression, sleeping problems, spasticity, and drooling symptoms associated with the disease. Cannabis combats ALS-associated pain because of its analgesia and anti-inflammatory effects. It manages, manages spasticity with its muscle relaxing properties. Because of its appetite-stimulating effects, it helps prevent the wasting that occurs in the final stages of ALS. Uh, the states that have approved medical marijuana for ALS. There are 28 states that have adopted medical marijuana legislation. 18 have approved cannabis for treatment as ALS. Um, I'll let you pause the video if you want to go over the list there. And then um, I have the recent studies on here. I have the links to all the sites, which I'm also going to post at the bottom of the video. So don't worry. All the references will be there. These are from the PubMed.org or whatever. These are medical recognized medical documents and um, I have all the references listed down here this will also be down in the description um, also if anyone is in need of getting CBD legally in any of the 50 states I can help with that too um, I'll leave the link to our business in the description below which we offer a variety of different uh, CBD products on uh, thank you all have a great day